Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Look at this story in the newspaper called Journal de Montréal, obviously the Montreal Journal. Uh, this is what it looks like in French. I'm going to put it through the Google Translate machine now to show you roughly what it means in English. Your risky data on the vaccination passport. Fraudsters could easily know where you went and save your personal information. <laughs> oh, just that. In less than 15 hours, hackers have created an application that allows you to copy the personal information included in the vaccination passport and track certain movements of Quebecers. Huh. Oh, really? Yeah, no problem. These well-intentioned specialists do not question the importance of the vaccine. <laughs> I think the Journal de Montréal put that in there just so they won't be jumped on as being anti-vax. I'm guessing that they wrote that. I, I don't believe the hackers actually said that uh, because I don't know what the importance of the vaccine passport even is, given that we know that if you're vaccinated, you can still spread the virus. So what exactly is the importance of carrying out this, carrying this spyware on you other than the spying part? I mean, I mean, first it was one vaccine shot, then it was two, now it's three. Now the billionaire profiteers at all the vax companies are talking about annual shots. Maybe it'll be like coffee shops where you get a card and you get your card stamped. And if you have nine coffees, your 10th coffee is free. I'm sure that's healthy. All those meds, especially the mRNA ones. Um, but does it work? Do the vaccinations work? Here's a big story in the pro-vax, pro-panic New York Times about Israel, one of the most vax countries in the world, which now has one of the highest infection rates in the world. What's happening? Shouldn't we maybe stop and think about it and study it a bit more before doubling down and tripling down? I mean, I know politicians like to brazen through problems, just stick it out, but shouldn't scientists be a little more, you know, scientific? The Washington Post uh, just said that the Moderna vaccine has more side effects than previously thought. It can inflame the heart of young men. Uh, and I don't mean that metaphorically, myocarditis. So young men are one of the least likelihood of dying from this disease other than children. So why are we pushing this drug on them with side effects? Of course, this hasn't all been tested fully. How could it be? It's so rushed, how could we know what the effects are if you have three, four, five shots of this stuff with all the boosters? We don't even know the effects of having one or two shots because the vaccines are still in clinical trials. They're still experimental. None of the vaccines have been approved yet by the FDA. And not just the vaccines, all the pandemic public health theater. Like, you know those awful, ugly, dehumanizing plexiglass walls that are everywhere now? Make you feel like you're checking into a prison or something. Here's the New York Times, the biggest pro-vaxxers around. Those anti-COVID plastic barriers probably don't help and may make things worse. That's their headline. Oh, okay, thanks for that. Thanks for telling us 18 months into things. Maybe we should have, you know, studied that before commanding shopkeepers spend tens of billions of dollars forcing it on them and between them and their customers. My point is, look, this was never about health. This was about control. So when the Journal de Montréal claims that it's really and really important to have this spyware on your phone, they mean that the spyware itself is important, not any health claims, because vaccine passports have actually never been studied. We don't know if they work. We, there's never been a vax passport before. No one can say they'll be effective any more than those infuriating plastic dividers are. The spying on you part, that's not a bug. That's a feature. That's the whole point. Back to the story. These well-intentioned specialists do not question the importance of the vaccine, but they wanted to demonstrate that the personal information contained in the vaccination passport, which will be mandatory from September 1st, in particular to go to the restaurant or gym, is not well protected. <laughs> hey, no problem. I'm sure the government will get it fixed in the next 10 days. Governments are well known for working very quickly and very carefully. They truly care about you.
We're in a very important Canadian election, and I want everyone to see our premium shows that are normally behind a paywall. So during the election, anyone can get free access to our special premium shows, my nightly show, a weekly show by Sheila Gunn-Reed and David Menzies and Andrew Chapados, by going to rebelnewsplus.com and using the promo code ELECTION, and you'll see the good stuff for free. Go to rebelnewsplus.com and use promo code ELECTION.